So in the last part, some freaky deaky shit happened at the zoo. Also, we saw Eve. She melted a bunch of people. It was kind of horrific. Uh, I digress. Not the point. Point is, we're gonna get out of the zoo. We're gonna start fighting some random things. I guess that's kind of irrelevant. Monkeys. Everyone remember the monkeys? I remember the monkeys. Monkeys are pretty stupid. Uh, they're gonna try to swipe us. It's not fun. It's not fun for the whole family. Let's do eight points of damage. Okay, I still have a little bit of longevity, but I digress. Riding a bear, not not so good, not so fun. Uh, I do pretty good damage. I'm a little overpowered at this point. Getting some ammo. I gotta go heal up, so, uh, you know, might have to cut it. Alright, we're back. I'm a bit more in better shape. Got some health. Use some parasite powers. You can use your parasite powers outside battle. That's kind of nice. You figure they might have some sort of limitation. Nah, you can use your parasite powers. You can use your magic. It's all good. Gotta go under here to get some chests. Some, uh, parasite. Some, uh, stuff. Not parasite powers. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking right there. I think that increases your parasite effectiveness. On the other hand, uh, I will get rid of my cure poison because I don't need it and I can use that defense plus. That's going to be nice. Equipped it on my vest, make it even more overpowered than necessary. It's going to be beautiful, but I digress. That's not really where I'm going with this. Where I'm going with it is, uh, what the heck is any of this? Also battle? Oh, you don't need to see this. Alright, welcome back, uh, alright, healed up just a bit, made myself a little more OP, equipped some stat bonuses to my armor, so I don't have to worry too much, very important. It's also worth noting, we're getting close to the end of the day, the end of the chapter, getting to a boss fight, really what I'm trying to say here. This is made more apparent by the fact there's a phone here, but I guess that's irrelevant because there's a fight. Oh, with these things. Oh, I hope you don't mind the fact that after I cut it, I also decided to heal up and save because who needed to see that off screen? Ah, <laughs> uh, no one. No one needs to see that. Oh, by the way, boss fight. You'll know because of the change in music. Yeah, that's right. We got a boss. Uh, worms. South American giant worms. The, uh, the thing made note of this. You might be saying, oh man, how was I supposed to know? It's, pre it's pretty crazy. Now, something to note is when they come up like that, it's the best time to attack them. Now, something to also note is that they're kind of going to be like which one to attack. Uh, there, there's a gimmick between all this. It'll be made apparent soon enough. So don't worry too much. Just just keep on attacking. Go on the offense. Heal when you need to. It's all pretty much straightforward. So you're just going to keep on going like so. Oh, we killed one. Now, if you can't tell what the gimmick is, you see when you killed one, they got just a bit bigger. Yeah, that, that that's the... That's, that's the gimmick. Yeah, you defeat one, they get bigger. They And it just keeps going in that direction the more you go about it. Otherwise, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna just heal up. Worst case scenario, I have to use a revive. And by use, I mean, I I end up having to... I end up having a revive. Oh man, they're getting huge. So you might, you might figure that when all is said and done, the last one's going to be ginormous, and you're right, the last one is going to be freaking ginormous. I should probably heal up just a bit more. Keep my health up. They hurt. They hurt a lot. Oh man. I'm almost, I'm almost done it. I'm almost done it. I was worried it, that things were not going to go very well when it comes to the giant worm fight. But, lo and behold, I've done it. I've done it. I, I got to the real boss fight. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself, Gilton. You've done it. Uh, the only problem is now 
Jesus Christ, how am I dealing with this? It does that. It's not fun. So, yeah, ja the real true boss fight is getting to this point and being like, how do I deal with it? Also, I got some parasite power. I might as well use that up a little bit. It slowly regenerates, but at the same time, it's, 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 it's enough to get me what I need to do. <clears throat> but not enough to get me where I, where I want to be. Ow. Well, I still got that revive, so I'm okay. Also, if all is good, my parasite power should be adequate. Should almost be adequate. I'm just out of line for it. I've never been in this situation. I was overpowered, now I'm just slightly unnerved by the whole entire situation. There we go. Enough to actually get myself to a good situation. Your parasite power will recover over time. It's not really a key feature, so to speak. But at the same time, I mean... Ah, oh, that's not close enough. I have a rifle, so my range is just a bit farther, but still not enough. Now, it's pretty obvious where the boss is going to spawn, and when it's going to spawn. Also, I killed it. Also, I leveled up. This is fantastic. Oh, man. Uh, I got barrier. That's going to make it so it's harder to kill me. Uh, also, are you kidding me? I need to... I need to get that. I'll sacrifice a piece of junk for that. Thank you very much. I'll need that. <laughs> I could have cut off a lot of that boss fight, but I need to include it because all of you need to see how things unraveled. I'd never had that much trouble with the boss fight, but then again, I probably grinded a little bit off screen to do most of the things that I need to do. Uh, not in this playthrough, I'm talking about other playthroughs. <laughs> I probably worried that a little weird. I need to clarify. Oh, this is fantastic. We got more plot, we got a horse, we got Eve. The horse is not mutated. Uh, Give me a second, viewers. Alright, now that I've equipped my stuff... That horse is really weirdly CGI'd. It's very odd graphics, man. Uh, your genes are stronger than I thought. Yeah, you know what? I don't know why I can do what I can do, but... Uh, oh, you want to go for a carriage ride? Fine. I guess I'll oblige. I guess. Here I go in the carriage. You know this is going to be a setup for something. It's it's not going to be good. Why be on the side of humans? They're stupid. Listen, you could join me. Why not? I'm human. Oh man, yeah. If you're not, if you're not my friend, you're my enemy. I'm gonna kill you. That's right. It's a boss fight. <laughs> so many questions. We're gonna fight on a carriage. Yeah. Who saw this coming? It's very small space. Can't really do much about it. Don't run into Eve. It's not good. Our rifle's more than enough to actually make this happen. Uh. It's a very stupid boss fight. I got more than enough health, though. Oh man, I need I need to heal up while I can. Uh, get some parasite powers going. Get some heal too. It's my only saving grace. Again, I got I got the revive if need be. Heal two didn't do jack shit. Well, I think this boss fight's almost over. Also, I avoided her nearly in time. Oh man, you really, you really can't rely on the whole spacing of everything. She, she, she handicapped us. She made it handicapped. She knew this was the best place to fight us because we couldn't do dick. Oh man, I I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. <laughs> Uh, it's all good, yours. I got this in the bag. See, we already won. 
She couldn't do anything about this. She tried. She lost. Also, our gun transformed into a handgun. It seems you still don't know who I am. You're Eve. You were an actress named Melissa, now you're Eve. Well, if you don't know your own mother... Oh, okay. Alright. I got that. My body understands. Uh, oh. Are you trying to tell me there's... There's... A method to the madness? Where are you talking? See, I'm with Aya here. I don't understand. Here, let me explain directly. That's stupid. <laughs> she made us pass that. If we join forces, all other mitochondria in the world... I, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Cause we'll all die. Did anyone understand any of that? Also, uh, our partner's worried about us. Oh, hey, it's Ben. He's not dead. This is very good. Yeah, you know, weren't, weren't you there? Uh, I came here with Mom. She was all weird. Oh, okay. All right, you ran away. Smart kid. <laughs> what do you mean, Ben? I came with Mom so the three of us could be together. <laughs> So that's why you wanted to get me. You wanted to set us up so that we could be a happy family. But she started freaking on stage. Yeah, it's kind of a travesty. Uh, she's an she's a pile of goop now. Really, that that's the long end of the stick right here. I got near the stage and started to feel sick. So I wanted to go home. Uh, is that what happens? Are kids like not susceptible to Eve's uh, hypnosis mitochondria thing? Dad, she left, and everyone else went too. Uh, is, is there something about Aya's date that I'm not aware of? Does he have like the same thing going? Lorraine. Uh, Daniel, I'm sorry, your ex-wife is dead. But on the bright side, no more child support, right? <laughs> Casualties were much. Yeah, you know, it's it's pretty it's pretty bullshit. Uh, we cannot pull the lives of our yeah. We can't put the lives of our citizens in jeopardy anymore. We have to evacuate the city. The city, Manhattan, everybody. Uh, oh man, Christmas. What do we do, sir? We tell them, get the fuck out of New York City. It's dangerous. There's a terrorist attack. Uh, that can be taken very badly considering the events that happened in the past. But I digress. This is 1997, so uh, it hasn't happened. So, yeah, we gotta protect the city. Any word from Aya? Aya? Damn it, where could she be? Uh, look, we have to evacuate the city. It's our only hope against this this crazy mitochondria person, trigger word. Uh, should we stop him? No, nah, man, you don't understand. It's dangerous. The city is under high high terrorist alert. It's bad for everybody. On the other hand, we got uh, we got Ben. Ben's going to be the happy-go-lucky character in the whole entire story now. He's a main character, main support cast. Uh, I'm sorry, you have to... Yeah. He's sorry that he has to go, but he's got to go find his partner. She's more of a daughter than you have been, Ben. Even though you're my son, she's more of my child than you are. Because, you know, we're we're partners. Uh, Kathy will look after Ben, so it's all good. Doesn't matter. Uh, and yeah, you know, Kathy's like, you like dogs? Let me go introduce you to the best police dog. Which is saying a lot, because it's New York City, so, uh, obviously gotta be the best police dog. I mean, sure, sh yeah, see, cop dogs are friendly. 
It's not like they go under rigorous training and then they'll maul anything and they're they're highly dangerous. Actually, I'm pretty sure there's a difference. Shiva. Shiva's a good police dog. See? Happy-go-lucky police dog right there. German Shepherd. She likes you. She's licking his face. She's eating his face. Uh, not violently. Man, I'm telling you, my, my symbolism alarm is going off, and I cannot figure out what any of it means. I mean, uh, this whole place has turned into, like, some sort of apocalyptic zone. Uh, also, you, uh, I have no idea what's going on. It looks like this guy just wants to get through, and the police are like, no. Go back. It's dangerous. Uh, and this guy's a Japanese man, because the title says so. Uh... I'm not getting anywhere with my English. Hey, you he's Japanese. No, I'm Japanese. Uh, oh, you speak it. Oh, hey, there you go. Uh, I have no idea. I'm not going to try. I'm just going to botch it up and offend someone. Um, Kun... Oh, wait, I can't... Mida. That's, that's right, right? I have to, I have to say something, right, Mita? Hey, if you can't speak, let, dude, this guy is totally American, right here. You know he's American because he's like, if you can't speak the language. Get the hell out of our country. You don't belong here. Calm down, man. It's bad. Also, you'll get a colon. You'll, you'll get palpitations. It's not good. Oh. He's come down with the spontaneous combustion. That's what you get. It's called karma. So, with that distraction, our new Japanese protagonist is going to cross the border and, talk, and say something, and he's going to move on and become a support character. But that's foreshadowing for a later part. If you're as lost as I am, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, other than, again, foreshadowing for something later to come. Just, just keep a mental footnote. Keep a mental footnote. It's supposed to be, not symbolic, but it's supposed to be iconic, I guess, of some. Oh, never mind, the red filter is totally symbolic of something. Something vicious. Something horrible. Our final, well, I guess, you know, I'm going to end it off here because this part has gone on way too long. And Mita here, uh, what's this, Meta? I don't even know how to pronounce that. The A and the E is confusing my mind in so many ways. So I'm going to end it off here. You guys have a fantastic day. Do whatever you do. I don't care. Don't hit that bell button or hit it. Don't subscribe. Do subscribe. You know, it, it is what it is. You guys can do whatever you want. Japanese man here is just telling me that I'm finally awake. I got a fire burning. This is a pretty shoddy place. God help me. Who was living here before all this happened? Because it seems like a crack den. I'm just, I'm just saying based on that broken bookshelf. I can't imagine that was even remotely necessary during the time of the panic crisis unless someone needed their copy of Harry Potter or Game of Thrones.